Hi, Omega oh Chaos here again. Uh, we found an uh, episode of uh, uh, Dwelling with Omega oh Chaos Season 5, and this time I am dwelling with my um, Melodious deck, so let's see how it goes. Well, unfortunately, this time is pretty bad, I would say. So I can't read too much with it, so I will end my turn. So yeah, another fusion based deck, but unfortunately the, uh, the fusion aspect uh, in Meloidos is not really uh, well designed. The Mel 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 Melodious deck itself is kind of a mess as well. But yeah, you have to work what we, with what you have. I do have actually have the melodious deck in real life as well. The only real difference is the uh, fusion that comes out in Shining Victories. And of course, I don't have Swarm Strikes in real life, but that's about that. So I will do a real life deck profile at some point of it. Yeah, so it's uh, Elemental Heroes, the fusion version. Not the Mast Hero version, it seems. Wow, my plant going all in. So fast. Hopefully I don't get out killed. Otherwise it go it's going to be very bad for me. Yeah, my hand is really bad. I can summon the one of the melodious fusions, but it's not really that great. <laughs> but let's see what I can draw first. Maybe I can play out of this hand. Well, this, I guess, not too bad. But doesn't really do much either. In this case, going to Fusion Summon. Sending these to the graveyard because they don't do anything in my hand at all. <laughs> and then... I talk the Nova Vasta because I will be activating the effect in the damage step. I'll banish all my plants, free spells. <laughs> and we'll end my turn. Yeah, it's very likely that I'm going to lose this duel. There's just no way. I can win this, unfortunately, Absolute Zero can just destroy my field. And my opponent can just summon, summon something else uh, with uh, strong attack points, and then it's game over. I didn't throw any protection either, aside from score, but that only helps when you actually have a monster. The elemental hero woods man, okay. That's not too threatening yet. No oh, parallel world fusion. <laughs> well that's uh, very bad for me, obviously. Yeah, I think it's no game over. I guess why not do that? It doesn't really matter that much anyway. Yeah. Kinda sad, but well, yeah. Unfortunately, that the Melodious deck is kinda inconsistent currently. It doesn't really have that uh, much. Uh, a search power currently, so 
and let's go to the next one. And I'm back. So hopefully I do better this time. Uh, this deck everything needs a lot more support for sure. It's kind of weird that this deck is currently so bad, considering that Yuzo is one of the main characters in our fire. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just normal summon Arya and try to, try to attack. At least this hand is better than the previous one. I'll just set these two back rows and ending my turn. So it's Purgestama. Pretty annoying. And this card. Well, I guess that's fine. Battle phase. Yeah, there's no point in activating score because all the trap monsters are unaffected by other monster effects. Okay, I'll point actually going for that rank 2 monster. It's definitely better to so strike it. The score, but unfortunately, it's not going to do much for me. Wow, storming mirror force. Well, I guess, but it's just going to. Because I can just as well as on it. In main phase 2. I'm going to end my turn. Yeah, Purgestam is a Korean ex 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 exclusive archetype uh, currently. And they are just pretty much all traps, trap monsters. I don't think they are that great currently. <laughs> hmm. Not sure what should do exactly. I guess no one wants this. But then I suppose I want Conon, so I can make a rank 4 play. No point in going to the fusion. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll go into the Fairy Chirgar. Just to get some extra cards. Okay, that's pretty good. I definitely need some revival cards to do my better plays. Give okay, threatening roar. Yeah, really annoying. Like your my opponent is just stalling. I don't think that's a very good strategy. Okay, card card there. Eh? Oh, mine's just going to just draw two. And then it's my turn again. Okay, Opera. Not too bad, I guess. Okay, so I'm a strike.
Wow, seriously, another storm here for us. Well, that's annoying. That's fine then. I have the swan strike anyway. Let me just pass my turn. I have the song strike it probably. Yeah, that's a really good card. Pretty much a throw card for them. I don't know if, don't know if I can keep it going. Hmm. It's definitely not a good situation. Mob I can just activate tap cards from the hand as well. Just a bunch of traps. Wow, seriously, five back rows. Wow. That's pretty ridiculous. Wow, seriously, have to draw this card. Unbelievably, unbelievably bad. Well, what can I do, I guess? Like I only run one anyway, just not to uh, draw it, but of course with the shuffling system in these uh, dwelling, online dwelling, dwelling platforms, it, you always tend to draw your cards you have at one in the deck, so that is just really annoying, I can't do anything. Well then, I guess I just tribute someone. Elijah, because just to get it out of my hand, pretty much. Okay, so I'm warning. I guess that was kind of expected. Well, I pass my turn in this case. Of the draw card. Well, Pan can pretty much keep going in infinitely at this point. Upon has graveyard full of those Burgestoma trap cards. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's not good. The bottom is head in this case. Uh -huh. My car thought that I cried a little bit. I guess it was somewhat energy. Well, at this point, I just surrendered. There's no way I can come back from this, so... I guess we could do the last two out of this video. And I'm back again. So we are doing very badly with this deck currently. But of course, that was very expected. So it's six Samurais. I'm not sure how I feel about them. The first and Shand could be very problematic for me. But let's see what can I do about that. I haven't seen anyone play that card for. It doesn't seem that great. To send Arya to the river. And just set these uh, three back rows and then my turn. Okay, Koga Musha. That card. Okay, oh, but it's really going all in at this point. It's not very good for me. It's actually very bad. I'm actually going to do this now. And activate the Oasis of the Dragon Souls and summon back Aria. Shian, and then probably Parkyun or something like that. Or Koya Guardian. Koya Guardian is not too much, though. Tom Tom. I guess it's pretty okay, but not really. Oh, yeah, of course, it's worm type, so I don't gain the attack. Yeah, Dark Hole or something, or Raikage could really hurt at this point. 
If I'm not careful. I will still set that so. But it's still target, so I think the only target's face of monsters, so can't touch my losses either. Yes, I'm not sure what you are really trying to do here. Yeah, Arya is really good, but uh, there is a problem as well, be it that uh, so many uh, Melodious support cards actually conflict with Arya, which kind of makes them pretty useless. So here you have to drop Arya, which is probably the best coin in the deck, or you use Arya and, and can't use the support cards, which require, require targeting. It's definitely a dilemma, I guess. Okay, that's not too bad. Of course, my point is going to actually screwed up. I can't activate. That so. Um, it's still fine for. Just get the polarization. I need to test the defense as well, just in case. And this as well. And going, then going to end my turn. So almost screwed up with a transmodify. So, uh, of course, because I, you know, I haven't used Stab Tech Strap Hole Nightmare for a while, so I forgot that I can only use it on a monster that was spell someone that turn. That's fine, I guess. Still can't target my monster as well.
Well, I'm trying to use an, use an issue again, not realizing. And my plan just surrendered, so I guess. I realized that made a mistake again. So, at least I won one duel in this video. But yeah, unfortunately, yeah, this deck needs uh, so many uh, support cards to make it actually uh, viable enough because it has uh, also it doesn't have any enough cohesive strategy as well. It has too many things going on there. Uh, there's the soft lock, there's the fusion strategy, but all those cards are not. Aside from the lock, the other cards, the fusion cards, are not really that good. You can't really fusion someone in this deck consistently, and the fusions themselves, aside from Blue Diva, are not that powerful either. But, so this is it for this episode of uh, Tournament with Omar Chaos Season 5. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. For now, and goodbye, and Omar Chaos, out.